Hey guys, how you doing? You alright? Sorry about this, is oil on my forehead. Just spending some time with the Lord, you know. And before I get into the dream, just want to have a little chat with you for a little while. Just want to say that the Lord Jesus, he is so beautiful, so loving, man. So loving. He is so beautiful. I really love him, you know. He really loves us. And uh, I'm not in any torment in my heart, you know. I saw some of your comments on the last video and you're saying that, you know, I could get to a place where I'm destroyed and could end up in hell. Uh, I don't want really to go to hell, no way. But um, I'm in full submission to the Lord Jesus. I'm fully submitted to him. Completely. I was just sitting there just now and receiving his love, man. So beautiful. There are no words for it, man. There is no words for his love. And it's like, uh, sometimes when I receive from him, it's like the expanses of the, the heavens are open. It's as if I'm standing in heaven in vision form, you know. And his love, it, the Lord Jesus' love, when it comes down on you, when his love comes down on you, it like surpasses you, surpasses all understanding. You can feel his love coming through you. It's like a euphoria, you know, you're just in a state of euphoria, just pure, beautiful love. And I believe the message is this. Amongst all the chaos and destruction that's coming, the Lord's love will be present. He'll be present, his love is present. Amongst all the chaos and destruction, if you just reach out to him, he will be right there with you. He will be for you. He will be with you. He will cover you in his protection. He will keep you under his wing and he will keep you safe amongst all the chaos that's coming and will be happening. As you're going through it, he will be with you. He is always with you. He loves you so much. He loves you so much, so much. He is so beautiful. And soon you will stand before him in his heavenly courts, in his kingdom, with his bright white light surrounding you from every direction and every angle. You will stand before the King of Kings in his beautiful, glorious light and love. And you will feel his presence and love and you will see him face to face beautiful love and that <clears throat> as Christians is what we have to hold on to he is our Messiah and he loves us with an everlasting unconditional love beautiful beautiful love and soon we'll be home and we'll be safe for an eternity not much of this to go through. If you can endure until the end, as the Bible says, you'll be saved. You'll get through this. And so what I was going to say the other day in a dream, uh, well, is it a dream? The other day I put a video on here, that's it. The one for the churches. Not, not the one from yesterday, but the one before, the day before. And, uh, when I was praying over it, like I said, another thing that I saw that the Lord showed me was this. He said to me, I know that you've been through a hard time recently. He said this to me. And he took me back to a memory in my mind of when I was a small child, really small. And he said, he showed me a picture of this program called Sesame Street. Have you ever heard of that? <laughs> I don't know if it's still going, that program, Sesame Street, but... It was like an American program, and I remember this little green monster coming out of the trash can, like, you know? Well, we call it a bin, but they call you guys in America call it a trash can, I think it is. Sorry, OCD. And, um, I was so small and young, maybe, I don't know, maybe four or five years old. And I remember watching that program, feeling so excited about the future, and so excited, I felt loved. I felt warm and comfortable, and... 
I felt loved by my mum and my brothers and everything was great and it was a sunny day and I just finished school so I must have been about five and I remember watching this programme and just being in like really happy and just really content, really happy in life and really excited about my, my future ahead. I was only little, you know. And the Lord brought me back to that memory and he showed me watching Sesame Street and I saw him standing there in heaven with his bright white and glorious light shining out from him in every direction and down upon me man and he was standing there in heaven smiling looking at me and he was there and I didn't know this at the time but if I had looked up spiritually he was standing there the king of kings man the Lord Jesus in all his glorious light and love man and he was showing me that even then he was with me and he said to me I've always been with you even through this hard week that you just had and I'm always with you and he said to me soon you'll be I'll be in his presence forever and I, I see it man the white light love peace and I saw other people in that vision in heaven smiling happy really joyful you know that's where we're going guys hold on to that when all this chaos and destruction comes hold on to that we're going home soon, that will be our home for an eternity. And if you sit now before the Lord in his presence right now and just receive from him, you will get little glimpses, little snappet shots of heaven. The Lord gave me a, a vision the other day of heaven. I think it might have been at the same time. He showed me uh, these, these trees and I saw this opening in the trees and I, I looked through in this vision and I saw the most beautiful, most glorious sight I'd ever seen in my life I saw like cornfields of like golden white light coming through it shining through as if it was a hot summer's evening and I saw this this tree and I think it was an oak tree and it had these beautiful colorful leaves on it like reds and gold colors and uh, oh it's just beautiful man and I, I, I saw white light everywhere in every direction and angle like you know and I knew it was from the Lord and it was just so beautiful and I could see the little flies flying over the, the crops. And, and the love and the peace that was there. It was transparent and it, it went through you from every angle. You could feel it everywhere. This love, man, and this peace. And it was just so beautiful. So beautiful. I've never seen anything like it here before. And I said to the Lord in this vision, I went, wow. I said, Lord, look at the tree. Look at the leaves. And he said, of course. He says, I know you. I made this for you. So in heaven, that's there waiting for me, I guess. I was just like, wow. And oh, I just so I just wanted to step into heaven, man. I just wanted to step in there. And I want to go there now, man, but you know, we just got to keep battling on, keep fighting hard, keep running the race, man. Soon we'll be there for an eternity. Soon. Just hold on to heaven. And right now, receive from the Lord. Put your hands out, man. Put on Christian music and wait before the Lord. Submit your life to him. Repent. Wait on him. The Bible says that those who are close to him know his mysteries. Those who are close to him know his secrets. He reveals his secrets to those who are close to him. Just receive on him, man. Receive from the Lord. The Lord of hosts and from heaven. And the Bible says that we're surrounded by a great crowd of witnesses or a cloud of witnesses heaven looking on us you know they're egging us on they're encouraging us man just just keep going keep strong keep fighting keep persevering soon we'll be at home at home forever and when this destruction comes remember where we're going reach out to as many people as you can and if you don't know the Lord Jesus you can have the same fate. You can go to the same place, the same paradise in heaven for an eternity. With beautiful love from the Lord and with others, man. All you need to do, all the Bible says, is confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. Believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead and you will be saved. And just live upright according to the Bible and pray daily to the Lord Jesus and wait on him. 
receive from him and you will have the same fate and also you need the Lord in the times that are coming the times that are coming are going to be hard and bad but the Lord will be with us his people and if you call out on him now he will be with you throughout that time seek him with all of your heart all of your heart mind and soul and he will meet with you now for the dream I only remember a small bit of it and I'll share that small bit with you it was pretty horrendous the setting was was it was dark again it's always dark in these dreams it was dark and I was with my twin brother Jamie and uh, we were in a place uh, fairly near to the coast but I'd say pretty much on the coast and uh, we were hiding in these sewers and these uh, uh, streams of water uh, it was a pretty chaotic and horrendous situation uh, we had fear with inside of us and we were on the run we were running again so it's Christians on the run I should do a series of these really shouldn't I <laughs> what is it series one episode three I think it is something like that <laughs> Christians on the run well maybe I should you know it's not a bad idea maybe I could put a a little uh, what do they call them playlist together is it oh I can't remember what it's called I could do that um, but anyway, uh, we were on the run and uh, me and Jamie were in these uh, sewers and we were trying to hide. Now, the reason we were trying to hide was that people were hunting us down. I think it was something to do with uh, FEMA or federal or something, federal government or it was something to do with the government. Again, I think it was to do with the B system. I think I saw Obama in my dream. Uh, they were hunting us Christians down. To kill us and to put us in prison. That was it. Now me and Jamie, as we were in this kind of like channel of water or sewer trying to escape these people. The ocean, the sea, was coming in very fast towards us. And it kept coming in and out like, you know, almost as if it was a tsunami. So we were trying to keep away from the coast because these tsunamis were coming in at us. Which was terrifying. And the water was like overflowing where we were and it was rushing very quickly and it was just so scary, man. And we were looking out at the sea, but at the same time we were trying to avoid the government. Now, as I mean in government, they had helicopters looking for us and drones. There were drones. Uh, these drone things were coming through the air and they had lights and they were shining down into the tunnels where me and my brother were and they were trying to look for us. And so we were trying to avoid the drones and the helicopters with men in black uniforms and rifles and stuff. And we were trying to avoid the sea that was coming in at us as well. I mean, it was it was truly chaotic, man. It was absolutely terrible. So we had the government looking for us, trying to kill us. And they were trying to imprison us in this dream. They were trying to put us in prison. And I remember being in the dream. And I remember thinking, this is it. I really am going into prison. I think they caught me. And they were going to put me in prison. And I knew that I was going to be in prison for quite some time. And at the end of it, they were going to kill me. I knew that's what was going to happen in the dream. And they caught me, and I think they caught my brother. And it was terrible, you know, you, you couldn't go out to the direction of the sea because the sea was going everywhere. It's like like the Bible says in the end days, it would be roaring and waving everywhere. Uh, so the sea was coming in, which was chaos. We had these drones and these guys and helicopters. They caught me and my brother, and they put us in these orange suits, prison suits. We hadn't done anything wrong. Nothing wrong. Hadn't done anything wrong. The only thing was, was we were Christians. That was it. They were hunting us down because we were Christians. I hadn't committed a crime, yet they were placing me into into a maximum, I don't know, prison, like, you know, uh, maximum grade prison, I don't know how to say it. And there were others in there who were Christians, and we were being treated, or they were, although I was waiting in the queue to be put in this prison, they were treating them like dogs. They were treating them like a disease, like they were murderers. The people in this prison were treating Christians, uh, the government and the prisons, were treating us like we were evil murderers. It was as if, as if we were being placed on death row. I think that's what it was, really. Yeah, death row. Uh, and, you know, it was awful. And I remember thinking in my dream, this really is it. This is real. This is really real. This is really happening. Um, and I was so scared of it because the, the prison cell that they were putting me in, even though I hadn't been in it yet, it was like I was seeing it before it happened, was a very small little room, you know, um, it was so small that you couldn't stand up straight, you couldn't even sit up straight, you had to crouch in this little room, and it's very claustrophobic, 
and I saw that it was dark in this room as well, in a prison this was, and, and it really scared me. And I knew that I could be there for possibly years or be there for a very, very long time. Um, and, and again, like I say, they were treating uh, Christians like they were murderers, you know? And it was terrible. It was, it was scary. It was frightening. It's like, do I really have to go through this? And I knew that all of my rights were going to be taken away from me. All of my freedom, my free, my f just being free as a human, just to be able to do what I want to do. It was all going to be taken away from me. I knew that I couldn't drink like uh, coffee and stuff, you know, and enjoy the f my foods that I like, uh, certain foods or certain drinks or... I knew that I would, I would never be free again to be able to do what I wanted to do. My freedom was being stripped and ripped away from me. And I was going to be in this place and be treated like a murderer. And I tried to say, I haven't done anything wrong. I haven't done anything wrong. Why are you doing this to me, please? And they said, they didn't say it, but it was like, you're a Christian. You're a Christian. That's your crime. It was like that, you know? And it was so terrible. And I was separated from my brother and I was in in this prison with others in this orange jumpsuit, whatever you call it, an orange suit. And it was horrendous and in this dream you either got killed or you were put into prison. Um, with the end result being death, I believe. But, as you saw at the beginning of this video, the Lord, he will be with us. He will fill us with his love. And we know that when we do leave this world, we'll be in paradise. For an eternity. The Bible says if you endure this until the end you will be saved. Now listen loud and clear to me now. Okay. I don't know if I will end up in a situation like that. But it is possible that you could. Now you need to hold on to this. With everything you've got in your heart. What I just showed you just now. We will be in heaven. We'll be in paradise for an eternity. This could be no more than a mere but short time. If this happens to you it's a short time. You'll be in paradise for an eternity with the Lord. Now please, listen to what I'm saying to you. Take it into your heart. Remember this. Put it in your mind, in your heart. Really seal it on your heart and in your mind. You will be in paradise for an eternity, forever, in love and peace. If you hold on to the Lord Jesus, he will give you the strength to get through this. It is only a short but mere time. Even if it's a few years, it will only be a short time. Do not be afraid of the one that can kill the body, but be afraid of the one who has the power to say whether you go to heaven or hell. Don't be afraid of what man can do to you. Do not be afraid. And remember what other Christians went through in the past. Other Christians went through really bad times, torturous times. You know, the Bible says that we all have to endure trials and tribulations of many kinds. If somebody is saying to you that you're going to have a happy and healthy, upright lifestyle and you're going to have peace all the rest of your days, don't listen to them. Listen to what the Bible says. We will suffer trials and tribulations of many kinds. And if you don't, count it as a blessing. You know, and right now we may be having a good time or be all right, you know, but this destruction's coming and that's the truth. But you will get through it because you hold on to the Lord Jesus and you hold on to heaven. You know where you're going to be for an eternity. This is only a short time. A short time. So if you end up in that situation, you remember how to receive from the Lord. You know, they may be able to strip everything from you. They may put you in one of these prisons and strip everything from you. But they can't strip the Lord Jesus from you. And if you find yourself in one of these prisons on death row or whatever they, they try to do to you, they can't stop you from opening your hands and receiving from our Lord. They can't stop you from doing that, no matter what they try. You can still receive his peace, his grace, his love, his company through anything, through any situation they may place you in. You can still receive from heaven and that is how you get through and that is the message that the Lord is clearly giving to you. He is our hope, strength, rock, salvation, love, strong tower, support, everything. He is everything to us and that's how we get through no matter what you face and you know personally from me, from me to you, if you do face death do not see it as a bad thing. As If you are truly submitted and repenting to the Lord, if you're truly saved and you truly follow our Lord Jesus, our Messiah, 
you're a true follower of him. You're not lukewarm or living in sin or the rest of it. You're truly following him. Dying is not the worst that can happen. I would say in the times that are coming is the best thing that can happen if you face death. Don't go and kill yourself, whatever you do. I'm not saying go and commit suicide. But what I'm saying is if you're in a situation where you face it, don't be afraid. The Bible says, don't fear man. What can man do to you? But fear the one who has the say over where you spend eternity. That's the dream. Hold on to the Lord Jesus. And if you do not have a relationship with him right now, repent. Give your life to him. This stuff is only just around the corner now. It is only around the corner. And don't let it take you by surprise. You've had plenty of warnings from the Bible for thousands of years. And there are people, many Christians, prophesying around the world right now thousands upon thousands acts 217 you know don't let it take you by surprise be prepared most importantly spend time with the lord jesus really receive from him right now he will give you the strength and the peace to be in, to be able to endure these things all right god bless you guys i'll speak to you again soon cheers bye bye